and perceive things some I didn't even know exist. Yes. But the word of God is true. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. I, I've been preaching 39 years. And I studied faith hard. Yes, sir. Amen. I worked with R.W. Shambach. I studied under John Osteen, Joel Osteen's dad. Trust me, they're not the same kind of preachers. Mm. They're different as night and day. All right. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I read all the Kenneth Hayden books, yes. Smith Wigglesworth, Charles Capps, Kenneth Copeland. Studied faith. I was raised in holiness. But I thought that faith was all of it. Yes, sir. But I found out that faith is just the entrance, the entrance. into it. Because faith leads you to the anointing, uh -huh. and the anointing causes you to receive the glory. Okay, mm. now. But the right. glory is the answer. Yes, 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 sir. The glory is what we're supposed to have. Yes, sir. The glory is the answer for the fullness of walking and serving God. Uh -huh. But there's the certain requirements. I, I, I want you to, um, let, 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 let's first, let's go to, uh, let me see what I want to do. Let's go to Luke. The fourth child. I need someone to read for me. Hallelujah. This thing has blown me away. I thought I understood something, but it's amazing when you study things of God, all you find out is how much more you don't know about. It. That's all. Just when you think you got a grip on it, yes. he wow. takes you a little deeper yes. or expand the very thing. That just when you thought you had messed I, I preached sermons out of certain verses and thought I drank all the revelation out of it. Go back and read it. <laughs> Look like I just found out what it was all about. All right. <laughs> now watch what the scripture says here in Luke the fourth chapter and the eighteenth verse. So who go ahead and read before we start reading there? And Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brethren. That's Luke. Four and eighteen. No, it says the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Yeah, I thought that. Y'all yeah. pray for the reverend. <laughs> you got Matthew. Jesus. I ain't missed y'all in the I knew that one right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Luke four and eighteen says what? The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Jesus, who was the express image of the Father, the Word made flesh. He said this. He was reading out of a book. He said, the spirit of the Lord is what? Is upon me. Has rested upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. One, he preached the gospel to the poor. Mm -hmm. He has sent me to heal and, I mean, to heal the broken heart. To heal the broken hearted? Mm -hmm. To preach deliverance to the captivity. Uh huh. And rediscovering the sight to the blind. Yes. To set the liberty, liberty, them that are bru bru bruised. Bruised. Read. To preach a, a accessible years of the Lord. I, I, I'm going to say something. And if we had all our preaching, it probably would have uh, offended them. But I, I'm going to show you something in my prayer and dealing with God. He said, my anointing is not selfish. Wow. Everything I anoint you for is to give. Right. If you use the anointing to receive, you're out of order with God. Mm -hmm. For if you use it to give, you will automatically receive. Because, oh, y'all are. Yeah, yeah. All right. Come on now. <laughs> yes. Most people are trying to find the anointing to obtain. That's not God's way. Uh -huh. God anoints to release. Wow. And in obedience to the release, you gain. Because wow. God will take care of, oh, come on now. Yes, okay. yes, yes. But we have abused the anointing. Mm. Oh, come on. We go, you have to answer for it. Jesus. Because, see, where God is leading me to walk, you can't be in pursuit of wealth. Okay. And it doesn't mean because you okay. pursue God that He don't want you wealthy. He just don't want you in pursuit of it. That's he it. wants to lay it on you. All right. Oh, come on now. Because if you're in pursuit of it, you want to take some credit for it. Come right. on. But if you just obey his anointing, he wants to make you well that you're always praising for it because you know you didn't do nothing to get it. It's such a service. Hallelujah. Come on now. Thank you, Jesus. This, this, is why, this is why it's so out of line that Satan can contaminate what we do because once we bow to pursue riches, mm. Paul even told us, you'll be pierced through with many sorrows. Jesus. There's nothing about God's anointing. 
person that's selfish. Everything about it is to come on you to do something for somebody. It's never to inhabit it for yourself. Elder Turner, you're a preacher and you and you're and you're a worshiper. But when the anointing come on you when you play, it ain't for you. <laughs> it's for those who hear what you do. Yes. It may bless you, but he could have blessed you in another way, but he anoints and use you as a vessel to hit those keys to cause us to release a praise to yeah. him. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right? Yes, thank and you. And I studied this and, and, it, and it's correlating straight that when somebody abused the anointing, you're out of the will of God. Amen. Mm. And he's being patient with us. I, 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 I got in the scripture and it used to bother me. In the Old Testament, when I looked at Aaron, and he did a lot of bad things. Mm -hmm. And I would say, God, how come you don't get him? When, when him and his sister Mary talked against Moses for marrying that black woman, he made Mary an leper. He do not to Aaron. Moses went up on the mountain to get the Ten Commandments. Aaron made a calf. The people... Moses came down and said, what happened? Aaron said, the people threw in gold and out came a calf. Liar. Right, right. <laughs> it's not a lie like that. That's right. He formed that calf. God didn't do nothing to him. Yeah. But in the 20th chapter of Numbers, mm -hmm. God said, come in, Moses. You go get Aaron. Yeah. Bring him up to Mount Hur and stand him before the people and get his son Eliezer and stand him next to him. Wow. While he's standing there, take off his oh, priestly yes. robe right. and put it on his son. Yes. And when he lifted the, the garments off of Aaron, yes. the anointing yes. was gone and Aaron dropped yes. dead. Yes, he did. On, Which son. shielded him was the anointing. Oh, yes. oh Jesus. <laughs> he was doing stuff like an ordinary man, but the anointing shielded him. Yes. When the anointing is lifted, you're like an ordinary man. And if God lifted the anointing on you, you'll oh, drop God. dead like Aaron or you'll go blind like Samson and somebody got to lead you around. Mm -hmm. Jesus. We got to value the anointing. Yes. We got to use it appropriately. Yeah. And there's three stages. You, your faith, the anointing, then the glory. Yes. Yes. Come on, are, are y'all with me? I ain't, try, I, ain't, I ain't trying to put no mandate nobody. I'm just telling you with God the way God is dealing with me. That's all right. Huh? Hey, you. If, if you seek him where I'm talking, I'm trying to find somebody that's going to walk with me in this. Because yes. right. everybody don't understand it because I didn't understand it for a while. You, you, you see this, you can't be in pursuit of imagery. Mm -hmm. Although God don't want you looking like no bum, and you shouldn't want to look like one. Amen. But that can't be your pursuit. <laughs> what your concern is, am I reflecting Christ? My God. That's what that's what God wants you to manifest. Mm -hmm. No matter what Jesus put on, God was concerned that he was manifested in that flesh. Yes. No matter where he walked or where he went, God wanted to be assured. That's why he said, now I got somebody. I finally got some flesh that'll go where I tell them to go, do what I tell them to do, say what I want to say. Hear ye, hear. Because he's doing it the way that I want it done. Turn to St. John, the first chapter. Faith. Anointing. Then the glory. John, St. John, the first chapter. And the 14th verse. And the word was made flesh. Jesus was made flesh. And dwelt among us. And came here amongst us. And we beheld his glory. And we did what? Beheld his glory. We beheld, we saw the glory of God. Read. The glory as of, of the only begotten of the Father. Uh-huh. Full of grace and truth. Now watch this. Somebody said, we seen it, but everybody didn't recognize it. Yeah. Everybody didn't. See, there's some value in things that if you don't have revelation, you don't know it's value. How many people have gone to garage sales and got valuable furniture that somebody thought was trash? <laughs> oh, y'all ain't y'all right. Huh? <laughs> it didn't become trash because somebody named it trash. It was trash to somebody because they didn't know the value of it. It was always value what it was. It's just that somebody who owned it didn't know its value. Yes, right. And Jesus had the glory of God in somebody didn't even see it. Yes. Somebody didn't even recognize it. And there are things in you that people, if they don't have the revelation, they can't recognize it. And stop trying to get them to see what they're not capable of understanding. Right. Right. Eyes 
eyes have not seen. Yes, yes. Ears have not heard. Yes. Neither have entered the hearts. What? The good thing that God has for them that love it. See, there's some things that are in you people can't recognize. Yeah. But there's some things in you when God gives a revelation, we know what's in you. Yeah. Everybody don't know. They didn't know who Jesus was. The Bible said he came amongst his own and they didn't even receive him. Yeah. They told us that if they would have known they were killing the hope of glory, they would have left Jesus alone. Yeah. Jesus even told them one time, he said, it would have been better for y'all since y'all won't get saved or changed. It would have been better for y'all if I didn't come. Yeah. Mm. It's good that I did wow. come, but for y'all, it would have been better off if I didn't. Because now that I'm here, you got to make a change. Yes, got to See, I was taught in the ministry by an old timer. Mm -hmm. And he taught me that if you preach and there's sinners in the audience, yeah. and if a sinner can shake your hand and say he enjoyed your message, you failed. Because mm -hmm. yeah. wow. when it's done under the anointing, a sinner is supposed to commit or be driven away. Right. He's not supposed to enjoy. You're not a religious entertainer. Right. You're a vessel of God yeah. to reveal his truth. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. He can come up to you, Rabbi, I enjoyed your message. Well, that's an insult. Wow. Because if it didn't convert him, you didn't preach the gospel. Mm. Mm. Oh, come on now. Jesus. Wow. Tell you. That's good. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. I, I've been preaching 39 years. It's nice to get an amen, but when I got this kind of revelation, you don't give it, don't stop me nowhere. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then I learned a long time ago. Thank you, Jesus. When I preach and folk get quiet, yes. it's only for one or two reasons. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Only for one or two reasons. People preach. I mean, people get quiet when I'm preaching. Yeah. Either I'm real wrong or I'm real right. And I know I'm right tonight. Real right. Amen. Come on now. Okay. Well, watch, watch, watch this. Let's go to Romans, the sixth chapter. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going from faith to the anointing to glory. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Thank See, we missed it. We, we, we got the church on a pursuit of imagery to look like we prosperous, to talk like we prosperous, to act like we prosperous. Yeah. And all we have is a form of godliness. A form of godliness. And have denied the power oh. thereof. Yes, sir. See, Thank you. See, see, the world don't see no... Don't, the, we have become so carnal. Yes. The true. reason why we can't get the world to come in is because the only difference they see between us and them is that we go to church. Yes, it is. All the ills of the world is in the church. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. And it ain't supposed to be. Yes, right. Saints ain't supposed to be depressed. Oh, my God. Mm. Huh? So we ain't supposed to be bickering and fighting and talking about one another and smiling one another's face like we ain't said nothing. Yeah, that's it. That's how that stuff going on. But because we lust after the work, to, look, a, a lot of, we, we brought in religious entertainment in the church because we don't have no anointing. All right. Thank mm. you, Jesus. We have substitute administration for authority. Look, matter of fact, we have Christian counselors because people won't pray. Yeah. The Bible said the Holy <laughs> Ghost will be our counselor, and he will even show us things to come. Yes. I'm not saying you're wrong if you go to one. I'm not saying wrong if you go to message. But there's a more excellent way. Yes, uh, hallelujah. There's a more excellent way. Hallelujah. There's a better way. God Thank got you, a better Jesus. way. Thank you. Romans Jesus. 6. Let's start in verse 4. What does it say? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. Okay. This is, this is an acumen we... We are buried. This is why we do water baptism. Uh -huh. yeah. We are you're buried in him to show that you died with him. Yes. yes. Read. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead. The way the Jesus glory, came up from the dead, what? By the glory of the Father. What we raised him from the dead? The, the glory. glory of God picked him up out of hell. Hallelujah. Come, come on now. As Jesus was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, what? Even so, we also should walk. That in same glory is supposed to rest on you while you're walking Amen. around here. Right. Come on now. The Hallelujah. same thing that caused Jesus to come up out of hell. Yes. <laughs> it's supposed to be with you as you walk around. That's why if you got it, you can't go to hell because they won't receive the glory of God. Right. It raised Jesus up out of there. It won't receive it. You, if you get this glory, you are barred from hell. They won't receive you. Hallelujah. Hell cannot receive the glory of God. Oh, y all, y all, y all. Thank you, Jesus. 
Jesus. Yeah, keep talking. Yeah, keep talking. hallelujah. The glory of God can't go into hell. Anybody that manifests the glory is guaranteed to go. This is eternal security. Mm. Not just understanding grace. Because you can have grace and still go to hell. Yes. Paul said, I do not frustrate the grace of God. That means I make it of none effect. Because when they, when they don't teach the whole story, they give you a lopsided view. Because Paul said, I can teach others of Christ and myself being yeah. cast away. Oh, yeah. But not if I got the glory, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I got the glory, I'm going to heaven. Do you Because yeah. I'm going to show you why mm. in just a few seconds. See, because they tell you about you get grace and you're guaranteed to go to heaven. But what about if the righteous scarcely be saved? Yes, sir. Where should a sinner and the ungodly going to appear? Mm. Well, what do they say about that? What are you going to do about in the Corinthians when Paul said certain lifestyles doesn't inherit the kingdom of God? That's it, man. Or what about shall we continue in sin because grace abounds? God forbid. Yeah, they'll never say that. <laughs> hey, look, I was in the military. And when they discharged me honorably, there were certain benefits that were mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were mine. Yeah. The only trouble was I was ignorant of them. They didn't stop being mine because I didn't know about them. Yeah. I just didn't enjoy them because I didn't know about them. But they were mine. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They were sitting there for years. Yes, Sister Waller never been in the military. One day she come home, she said, you can go get a pension. From who? <laughs> she said, from a veteran. I said, look, I didn't do 20 years. She said, you didn't have to do 20 years. <laughs> you can go get a pension. I'm like, girl, you don't know what you're talking about. Right you ain't never been in the <laughs> military. <laughs> they don't do nothing like that. You talking about doing a credit. She said, all right, but I'm just telling you. <laughs> that if you go down there, they will give you a pension. I'm like, they ain't, look. They ain't doing that. She said, I, I said, look, just to shut your mouth, <laughs> I will go down there. I'll go down there. And I'm going down there, uh, uh, fellas, my shoulder was back, my chest was out. Come on, little girl, follow me so they can <laughs> tell you that I'm right. That's all I'm going to I, I wasn't looking for nothing. I was just some justification to let her know I know what I'm talking about. I serve. She is, sir. Tell her. She's right. She is? <laughs> yes. Sign here. I do. What else I got to do? That's all sign. Wow. I got thousands of dollars in the mail. See? <laughs> and still getting a couple of thousand every month now. Oh, that's oh, that's 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 Jesus. Didn't know. Didn't, Didn't know. know. Didn't. Didn't. It was sitting there all the time. Y'all, 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 y'all. Come on now. And I'm telling you, everything that God has provided for you is there, and we have not found it out. You can use this one scripture to straighten out everything that's messed up in a believer's life. Yeah. My people fail yes, for the lack, lack of knowledge. knowledge. Yes. That covers any of it. You, wherever you're not making it out, you lack some of God's knowledge in your yes. situation. Yes, right. So right. God's knowledge will straighten it out. It will. Wow. It will. It will. That covers it. I don't care what you're going through mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. You lack some of God's knowledge in your situation. Yes. Yes. For whom the sun set free. Yes. Free, free, free indeed. Watch, yes. read the rest of that. Watch, read. Yes. Glory to God. Verse 5. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Wait a minute. Now, look. Let me tell you something. Christ. Never die. Jesus did. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on now. Mm. That anointing could not die. No, it could not. That was the power of God in the flesh. You see, when the scripture said, unto us, a child uh -huh. is born. That was Jesus. That was flesh. It was a beginning. Birth means a beginning. But then it said, unto us, a son is what? Given. Because he had no beginning. He always was. He just needed a body to get in. That spirit of God always existed. Oh, come on now. It didn't say unto us, a child began. The son was always with the father. The son was always in the father. It just needed a body to come down here. And when it was time to die, Christ stepped out of Jesus, yes. and Jesus cried out, my God. Hallelujah. He never knew what it was to be without the anointing. Yes. But in order to represent me on the cross, he couldn't maintain God. Yes. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me. Hallelujah. He couldn't have fellowship.
relationship with God when he became me, God had to separate himself. Yes, he did. And that's how he could die, because he no longer had the anointing. Yes. But you read in Hebrews, and God said, and again, I will be to him a father. And again, he will be to me a son. When I resurrect him with my glory. And when he got up, he wasn't the same one that went down. Because this guy that got up walked through walls. Yes, Woo! he did. Say an apostle. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. Yes, they yes, called him Jesus. But he wasn't operating the same way. Right. He had some glory now. Yes. He had the anointing oh, always. Yes. But now the glory had yes. resurrected. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, oh God. When that glory manifested, the beloved John that always laid his head on his breast, Saw him in Revelation and didn't recognize him. Oh, he, did. he heard the way he said, oh, you don't look the same. No, you're scary. <laughs> <laughs> said, I put my head on your shoulders, on your chest. I love you. I love you. Jesus said, I'm Alpha. Yes, yes. I'm Omega. I'm, I'm the beginning. Yes, yes. I'm the end. Yes, yes. I'm the same one, but I'm glorified now. Oh, I'm glorified. God. Knowing this. You got to know something. Not see it, not feel it. You got to know it. What? That our old man is crucified with him. Uh-huh. That the body of sin might be destroyed. Why say might? Because if you don't course, let it, it ain't going to die. <laughs> yes. And God ain't going to take it from you. you going to have to give it up. Yeah. Huh? Thank the you. The only stuff you're struggling with is the stuff you ain't gave up. God ain't going to take nothing from you. When you give it up, he'll give you power to overcome it. But he ain't going to take nothing from you. This is a free will thing. Wow. Yes, is that right? right? How many understand what I'm talking about? Thank right. you. Okay, right. now watch this. Go to Romans 8 chapter. Here's why I love it. This is what I love. Romans 8. Hallelujah. Thank Romans you, God. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank we you, start man. at the 11th verse. We're going to go on down. I got a whole lot more, but I ain't going to hold y'all here tonight. All right. I feel this. I, I, I take off. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Faith just gives me the contact to connect to the anointing that I may manifest the glory of God. It's three steps. Faith, anointing, then the glory. Yes. And Romans 8 and 11 says what? But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead. If that same glory that raised Jesus up from the dead. Dwell in you. If it gets on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. He that raised up Christ from the dead should what? also quicken your mortal The word life. quicken means what? Make alive, don't make it? Alive. Yes. It'll make alive what? Your mortal bodies. Your very flesh. Mm. That the only way you're going to go to heaven, God's got to pull your spirit out of it because as long as your glorified spirit is in that flesh, it won't die. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Huh? That's why when Adam sinned, God had to put a guard in the garden. Because as long as he can get to that tree of life, he would have lived forever, no matter what state he was in, if he could get to that tree. But Jesus went on the tree, got the life back, and he didn't live forever. Thank you, Jesus. Glory of God, y'all. Hallelujah. Woo! Y'all better glad I got some control. Hallelujah. I, I messed with this thing for a while. But watch this. Read. Read. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, brethren, Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh. We don't owe nothing to our own flesh, nobody else's flesh neither. We don't have to please nobody. We ain't got to pump nobody up. Thank we ain't you, got Jesus. to beg nobody. We ain't got to bow to nobody. We ain't got to serve nobody but the God of heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Read. Not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. Uh-huh. For if we live after the flesh. If you go ahead and deny the glory and obey the desires of your flesh, what? He shall die. You're going to die. It ain't talking about the sensation of life. It's talking about being separated from God. That's true death. Not the sensation of the flesh. But when you're not connected to God, that's death. Read. But if we through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body. If we bring the desires of this flesh under the control of the glory of God. Read. He shall live. You're going to live. Read. For as many are led by the Spirit of God. Because those who allow this glory to direct their lives. They are the sons of oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, now he, didn't he didn't say, he didn't say just have it. No. Mm -hmm. He said if it leads you. Because yes, a whole lot of people got it. Live. And it ain't leading them. That, therefore, now you could say Wallace said it, but I'm only saying it because I'm just repeating it. 
If you ain't led by it, you ain't a son. Even though you have it. My God. Oh, God. My God. They that are led by it. He should have said, they that have the spirit of God. Was, he didn't say that. He said, they that are led by it. They that are controlled by it. They that are, come on now. Because a whole lot of people got it and ain't acting like God. How you gonna have the Holy Ghost still cuss? Woo, that's a, that's a rough right there. You ain't led by the Spirit. <laughs> All right now. How you gonna have the Holy Ghost still fornicate? Oh, no, that's, a, that's another one. Okay. You ain't led by the Spirit. God is not calling you son. So you read Galatians 4 and 6, and it says, because we are son, God has sent the spirit of his son. Right, yeah. He sent that same anointing to live in the flesh like Jesus. That's right. That's right. I understand why a lot of people come to that God. The devil don't want anybody to hear this. That's it. Amen. Because if you don't hear it, then, 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 then you're not responsible. You're not responsible if you don't hear it. Huh? But if once you hear it, you're responsible. Oh, come, come on, watch this reading. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? For, okay. For as many uh, uh, are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons That's of God. That's the sons. Now, wait a minute. We got a whole lot of church folk. We got carnal folk. Mm. And see, this is why I tell people the church is supposed to be run by theocracy, mm. not by democratic voting. Because if it is, you ain't gonna never find a church where you have more spiritual than karma. Right. The karma right. will always win. Right. So you don't, you can't do it by voting. Be spiritual, even if you only got five, three of them karma. You, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. You got to have somebody that represents God that got the authority and the power and say, "Thus say the Lord." <laughs> huh? Right. That's how you get away spirit. Come on now. Do you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> they that are led by the spirit. Not just have the spirit, led by. They They're the son. They are Come on, read. God. Watch this. For he have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. All right. You're afraid to trust God. You're afraid to obey God. If I do that, they won't come to church. If I say that, they won't like me. Mm. If I don't do that, they won't let me in the crowd. Bondage! bondage. When you're supposed to be free. Yes, it if you fall in love with God, you are free. Yeah. See, what the church haven't preached is the love of God truly. Because, see, if you get love, see, we got people going around trying to put out fires, Elder. That ain't the way to live. If you're putting out fires, that's all you do is put out fires. The solution is to catch the kid with the matches. And the fires will burn out by themselves. If you put out fires, that's all you be doing. Putting out fires, putting out fires, putting out one like another. No. Catch the fool with the matches. <laughs> you get him and the fires will burn out. Yes, and then you'll be free. Oh, come on now. Y'all don't want to hear me. Come on, yes, teach. Y'all don't want to hear me. Come on, read. But he had received the spirit of adoption. Uh-huh. Whereby we cry, Father, what? Father. My Father. Not just Father. My Father. My Daddy. My Provider. Yes, Jesus. Read. For the Spirit itself bears uh -huh. witness with our spirit. Yes, it does. That we are the children of God. That we are God's children because we have that glory. Read. Watch. And if children, then heirs. Okay. Now, this because, because see, you're going to join up with Jesus because y'all got the same thing. Y'all doing the same thing. Why shouldn't y'all inherit the same thing? Right. If y'all got the same thing, yes. read. Heirs of God. Heirs of God. And joint heirs see, with wait, Christ. Wait, wait. It, Oh, no, that'd been good enough. If God would just fix what I inherit some part, I'd be thankful. I wouldn't complain. But God always go high. My thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. He's fixed this thing that you get exactly with Jesus Christ, and he's the only one that earned it. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else in heaven's got to say thank you. Jesus can say, I earned it. Yes, <laughs> but he's going to give you exactly what Jesus earned. Oh, yeah. Because right. yes. yes. you got his glory. Read. <laughs> Joint heirs with Christ. Uh huh. If so be that we suffer with him. What? That we may be also glorified Whoa! together. <laughs> glorified with him. Together. That means when it hit us, all the people around you that think they know you, when the glory hits you, they ain't going to recognize you. Because he didn't recognize you. Wow. So that sound like fell. He talked like we walked together, but that don't look like him. <laughs> the glory done hit him. Yeah. Come on, read. <laughs> Come on, read. Whew. 
For I reckon that the suffering of this present time. So Paul, when he got this revelation, he said, now did I consider this? Yeah. That the suffering that I go through to maintain my relationship with God, that I may inherit the glory that only comes through Jesus, is not worthy what? To be compared. To be compared. Sorry. Of the present time are not worthy to be compared. We are not with compared. Because you won't let me preach in your church. Because I preach against certain things. Thank you, Jesus. Or you won't let me come along because I won't go along with certain things. I hurt my feelings. Just because you got glory you say it don't mean your feelings can't get hurt. You reject it. It hurt Jesus. Yes. Huh? Yes, it but Paul said it ain't worthy to be compared. What? Which shall be revealed in us. Come on, back up. I want you to say it. What shall be revealed in us? Times that are not worthy to be to be compared with the glory. The glory. The glory. The stuff that God is going to manifest, whatever you got to go through to maintain that you get it, it ain't worthy to be compared mm -hmm. with the glory that's going to be revealed in you. In what you got to go through to maintain to get it. it, it, it. Thank you. Jesus. See, that, that love thing, you see, Moses gave ten commandments. He gave the law. All right? Mm -hmm. and, and when he got when they got through with it, it was over 500 laws. Yeah. They had to do it. Mm -hmm. You see, man always extravagates something that is simple. You know? <laughs> God said, thou shall not steal. Uh -huh. Thou don't steal. Man say, theft by deception, armed robbery, breaking and entering. Just don't steal, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> don't steal. Y'all don't get all that extra stuff. Wow. Arm robbery. Embezzlement. Theft by deception. <laughs> Breaking and entering. Uh -huh. Just don't steal. Right. Thank you. So Jesus. Jesus came along and he looked at it and he had the revelation. He said, Moses gave ten, I give you two. Love the Lord thy God with all thy body, mind, soul, and strength, and thy neighbors that self. And you ain't got to worry about nothing. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That covers everything. <laughs> then he told him this. He said, if you love me, then you can keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. See, people are trying to serve God without loving him. You, if you don't have no love, you ain't got no strength to abstain from this flesh. Yes, the will of this flesh is a strong thing. Satan used to bring everybody down. Mm -hmm. The Bible said we all have sinned and come short of what? They have sinned to rob you of the glory. glory. Everybody been robbed Hallelujah. from it. Come on now. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? The flesh is that strong. But if you love God, then you'll have strength to override your will Thank you. and live the way he wants you to. Yeah. But if you don't love him, all you got is a form of godliness. Yeah. And you're going to play with it. Go play with it. I had one bishop tell me one time, you can't live the way the Bible tells you to live. So what you do is stay in a repentance atmosphere. Oh. Oh. My question was, how do you create that atmosphere? Uh -huh. What do you do? Repent in advance? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how, do you, how do you create a repentance atmosphere? I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on now. Huh? I'm telling you, we, we got some shortcuts oh, trying to get to God's glory. But there's only one way to get there, honey. <laughs> You got to deny yourself. Yes. Come on, read. Thank you, Jesus. For the earnest expectations of the create, create creature uh -huh. waited for the ma manifestation of the sons of God. Woo. The earnest expectation of the creature waited, waited. not for the sons, but the manifestation, manifestation of the sons. Of the sons. The, see, the grass and all the creation know what it is to be perfected. Without the sun burning it up and them eating it, they know how they know the nature of that. But they can't get there until man get back in place. They can't get ahead of man. Mm -hmm. And because we out of place, they can't get there. So they're waiting. Come on, man, get right with God. Get back with God mm -hmm. so the lion won't eat up the lambs. Right. So the sun don't burn up the wheat. But it can't stop that until man get back where he's supposed to be. Because God will never advance you over your head. That's, right. That's why you got to watch who you over. Because I don't care what's in your heart. Whoever covering you, you can't go no further than that. And see now, now this, 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 this is the gospel according to the, the, the St. Wallace. You ain't going to find this in the Bible. Uh -oh. This is St. Wallace's gospel. <laughs> it is more difficult marriage for a woman than it is a man. My God, my God. Now you don't have to accept that. Five dollars, in your opinion, my opinion, still buy you some coffee and cigars. <laughs> <laughs> but when you read the scriptures,
scriptures, from my understanding, it, it's a stronger requirement on a woman. That's why she had to be very selective who she decided to call her husband. Because God said that once you make him your husband, he's your covering. And whatever is in him is on you. Am I right or am I wrong? She got to be real careful about that. Because just because he got a job and a credit card in the house, don't mean he right with God. He had that job, that house, that credit card. He'll lock you up in that house. You'll have the credit cards and can't spend them. Won't even let you out. Come on, say it back. Is that right? Amen. She had to be very selective. That's why the Bible said when a man finds a wife, he made the man in pursuit. He expects her to have all her thing together and be selective. Nah, uh-uh. Nah, uh-uh. Nah, uh-uh. Nah, uh-uh. Because see, I, my church in Louisville, I asked them a question one time. I said, um, why Jesus didn't never get married? And they, I said, now think about it before you answer he was a man like me. Mm -hmm. He had desires for a woman. He did bishop. Yes, he did. The Bible said he was tempted yeah, always. Like that. That. He had desires for a woman. Mm -hmm. Why didn't he get married? They came up with all kinds of stuff. Up to him. <laughs> they came up with all. They were here. I said, no. Well, they said, well, bishop, why didn't he get married? I said, because he had to obey God. I said, what you mean? There was nobody on his level. And since there was nobody on his spiritual level in order to get married, he would have to condescend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And before he would condescend from the spiritual level he was on, he stayed where he was. Because yeah. once you join up with somebody, y'all become one flesh. Mm -hmm. He was already one with God. Yeah. So he would have to break oneness with God in order to marry a woman. Oh. He, she wasn't worthy of that glory. Oh, come on now. Right. So he stayed alone. One day he didn't want no woman. It's just that there wasn't nobody on his level. And if ain't nobody on your level, you need to walk alone. Right. <laughs> Said, my sister got mad at me. She said, Bishop, I want a husband, but he got to be good and saved. Good and saved. I mean, he got to be good and saved. I said, well, good. I said, what level is he on? I want a 10. I said, well, if you get a man on a 10, why would God give him a woman like you on a 6? That ain't a reward for him. That's a reward for you. But if I sell out and stay on a 10, why would God give me a 6 or a 5? That ain't a reward for me. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, come on now. That ain't he fair. Does. That ain't right. And the same thing with a man talking about he want a woman sold out, sanctified, saved, and all that kind of stuff. He down on level three and wants somebody sold out on a ten. That ain't fair. Why should she keep herself right with God and get a knucklehead that's on a two or three and sometimes maybe one? <laughs> that don't make no sense. That ain't right. Yes. That don't make no sense to it. Yes. But yet we want to be that way. Because, see, some men think, as long as I put food on the table, roof over your head, that's all I got to do. And you got to put up with everything I do. Yeah. yeah. That's a lie. That's a lie. That ain't right. Yeah. Because the Bible said the husband is supposed to love his wife the same way Christ loved the church. He don't do the church like that. No. Mm -mm. See, he, so. we have tried to put pressure on people to live a certain way without the power to do it. You want people to live holy? Teach them to love God. Until they love God, they don't have the strength to live this life. You can't make it up in your mind to live right. Not the level that God wants you to live. Because if you could do it with mental power, Jesus wouldn't have to come. All right. You read the 17th chapter of Acts. God said he's going to judge the world in righteousness. He's going to hold up Jesus and say, this is what I call right. Read it. 1735. He, he said, this is righteousness. Who matched this? If you don't match this, you ain't righteous with me. You may be with religion and some other stuff, but with me, this is righteous. This man, he's going to judge the world in righteousness by that man, Jesus Christ, the scripture said. And if you can't match that, you don't get in. Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you he made a way for us to get it, though. Yeah. You start with faith, you get the anointing, you can get the glory, and you come in. I mean, know what I'm yeah. talking about. Jesus, yeah. hallelujah. I know right about this. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody don't want to walk with me on this. Thank you, Jesus. And when you study this, I ain't got time how to come up with a way to get money out of your pocket. All, right. All right. I ain't got time for that. Mm. Because see, if, 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 if you get this like the Bible say, I ain't got to pull on you to give no money. That's it. Why would you have to beg a man to take care of his wife? 
That's right. Something wrong with him. Yes, sir. Matter of fact, the woman shouldn't be with him if people got to beg him yes. to do right by her. Amen. Something wrong with that relationship. You know? Thank you, Jesus. You gonna buy your wife some stockings? Mm. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> she needs some more food in there. Well, she need to lose some weight. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he always got to play. Don't, just don't want to do for it. There's something wrong with that guy. Yeah. Because God, if you got the love of God, mm -hmm. huh? See, it, like when I, when I counsel people in marriage, they talk about they come want to get counseled. Talk about, yeah, bitch.